Yoink! That's right, guys. Today, we are running the classic Yoink and Sack. We're going to be stealing the opponent's creatures and using them to our advantage. Yoink! Guys, we're going to be running some Yoink today. If you guys aren't aware of what that means, uh, we have this thing on the channel we like to do. It's called the Yoink and Sack, where we steal the opponent's creatures and we sacrifice them for our own value. We call it the old Yoink and Sack. And this one is pretty sweet because we've got a bunch of new cards from Thunder's Junction. We were just in the early access event. Uh, we got to play against a lot of really cool streamers today. I think we even got to play against CGB, so stick around for that. But this deck is sick, and it has some really cool new cards that help a lot with sacrifice. Starting from the top, we got Rakdos. This thing is a 6-5 flyer, and it can sacrifice things to give itself indestructibility. Uh, and then you can also get some free cards off the top of yours or your opponent's deck of your choosing uh, based on the mana that you sacrificed for whatever creature you sacrificed. It's a really helpful card, very flexible card. Uh, but the card I really want to talk about, Greed's Gambit, man. This thing is crazy good for this deck. It's a very risky card, obviously, Greed, and it's a Gambit. But you get a ton of value when you play this. For four mana, you get three creatures, three cards, and you gain six life. But every single turn after that, you have to sacrifice a creature, discard a card, and lose some life, which can get scary if you don't close the game quickly. But with all of those things that we get, we should generate enough value to really get, val uh, you know, a win over uh, get the over the top win on the opponent uh because we got things like the baron baron's gonna spit out an extra lifeling token every time a token spits out which is very helpful here because we've also got other token generators like the forge and the jadar and the skitter all spitting out tokens for us so this is also going to spit out an additional token with lifelink for us and we can also use two mana to sacrifice something to draw a card We've also got a brand new uh, removal spell, Lawbringer here. It's a 3-2 creature. You bring it down, you sacrifice something off the field, you get to kill another creature from the opponent's side of the field. Really, really good. And uh, of course, our Yoink spell, Furnish Range. You get to steal the creature, attack, get a treasure, and sacrifice it for value. And then um, our sacrifice tool mainly is going to be Bartolome. It costs nothing. You just click it, you sack something, you get a 1-1 counter on this thing, and it runs the opponent over in the attack step when they choose not to block, and you sacrifice half your field. Next thing you know, it's way too strong, and it ends up killing the opponent. But super fun deck, guys. We're going to jump right into it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and hopefully we'll see you guys back here at the end. Peace out. All right, we're playing some Yoink and Sack today, guys. I'm super excited because we, you know, we love some Yoink and Sack. And uh, we've got a good one, man. This is going to be, it's going to be really nice. Our curve here looks pretty good, too. We've got the, got the rats. We've got our big boy on top as well. Uh, we're going to send that away. I don't think I want that. <clears throat> I think we need to get some uh, more sacrifice mechanics going. All right, get that down. Maybe I go ahead and get the uh, Erebrass Forge going because there's really nothing on the, you know, that the opponent's played yet or has put into the graveyard. So, Lord Skitter, let's just not get it taken off the field here with some easy removal. Let's wait and see what they're up to. Ah, okay, I do know what that card is. If you guys aren't familiar, it's going to allow them to take, you know, spells and put them into uh, the plotted position here based on certain things. Um, let's go with... This is not instant speed, is it? Okay. Well, let's just do this then. Let's do this and see if they block. <clears throat> They do block. Okay, which means we go here instead. There were a couple of options we could have done there. I think that's a, a fine option, though. That way that trample damage gets through. Easy. Four. We're about to be on five mana. Two, three, four, five. I can actually cast the Rakdos, which is pretty sweet. A uh, pretty good chance it gets taken out with a counter spell, though. Let's just play... Let's just run out the Urbrax uh, Forge and see... If they kill it, they don't. I do have the ability to give it indestructibility right now, though, if they want to try to kill it. Let's we'll see if it resolves, though. Counter spells are highly likely here. All right. I was going to sack that to give indestructibility for the turn, uh, but I was waiting for them to play something so I can respond to it 
instead of me doing it and have them respond to me. Uh, but they didn't cast anything anyway, so it works out. It works out for now, that is. Oh, wow, they let me on tap. That's pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's go with the gambit. Let's go with the gambit. I'm so excited to resolve this card. We just got done playing against uh, MTG Goldfish's uh, Saffron Olive, and he played this. Or he had it in his deck, and I stole it. <laughs> and I really enjoyed playing it, so. <sighs> and it lands. Wow. Well, things are going pretty smooth right now. Let's get our attacks through. Now remember, at any point in time, I can sack a creature and give Rakdos indestructibility, which is pretty insane. Uh, yeah, just indestructibility, not hexproof. Not that that really matters. I don't think unless it's an exiling effect, of course. All right, we do want them to play a creature though, so I can furnace rains something away, but if not, no biggie. This is gonna be insane. I don't think we need this as much as I like it. All right. All right. I'm excited, bro. We're hitting the combos. We're doing the thing. We're doing the thing. I really hope they play a big creature here. Something I can steal. Come on. I highly doubt it with the colors that they're running and the way they've been playing so far, but it'd be really nice. Mill three cards and investigate. To be fair, they haven't done a whole lot of anything in this game, which, you know, makes it our job a little easier, but eh. I'm waiting for the sweeper or something here. Something crazy is going to go down. But if it's not a sunfall, we're good. If it's like a depopulate or something like that, we're chilling. Helping hand brings a creature down for us to steal. I don't think they realized it'd come in tap, maybe. Good game. All right, cool. All right, a little took a little while to get there, but we got there, and uh, it's a good GG's, babe. Let's go. Let's go. Uh-oh, looks like we're up against a covert go blue. Um, and looks good. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Covert go blue. Let's see if we're running. Uh, okay, it's skeletons. Yikes. Yikes. All right, so hopefully he runs out another skeleton here so I can steal. No, no skeleton. Okay. Um. Guess I dropped this. I don't love it. Cut down. Wow, just brutal. Straight brutal. That's a really good find, though. That's a really good find. Um, send the pressure. Yeah, let's send the pressure. Off to a bad start. Didn't expect to see so much removal from the skeleton deck, but you know, it is what it is. Both of those can come back over time, which is annoying. All right, we want to do a little yoink and sack. You guys ready? Yoink. Maybe. Yoink. Okay. And here comes the sack attack. Let's go. The old yoink and sack, baby. Exile the Forsaken Miner. They may kill it themselves uh, just so that they can uh, get it back. Yeah, so he uses a kill spell on himself, which is actually really good for us. I think um, that's, that's pretty good value uh, to force a removal spell out of their hand. 
to be used. I'm worried though. If they get rid of my greed with like another tiny bones, uh, bones joins up, we could be in trouble. Covert go blue. I was nervous. I was worried I was going to run into this matchup at some point. You hate to see it. Um, That's a great card. It's a great card. Let's start with the attack. No kill spell, huh? Bartolome, come on down. All right, they use their field of ruin. Ah, oh, that's a targeting. Okay. That's a target, huh? Fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Well, we are going to gain a lot of life and draw a lot of cards. Problem is, is how long is that going to last before we're screwed, you know? Because the gambit will ping us to death if we're not careful. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, I mean, we can let it slide through or I can sack both of these. I'm gonna let it slide through. I'm gonna let it slide. All right, my turn. Let's go Gambit. Oh, that's a good card. Let's go Gambit. Okay. Let's play this. Let's attack. You would think they'd have to block here, right? Because I can grow Bartolome. Let's see if he notices. Yeah, he does notice. All right. Seems good. Down to 18, though. All right, we passed the turn. All right, we're looking we're looking good to close the game. I mean, it's going to be tricky, don't get me wrong, but uh, we're looking pretty good to close this one out, I hope. Because we're still at 16, which is the big key here, and we have another greed, which can uh, obviously give us more life gain and more bodies. This can't block, so they're forced to continue attacking with it. This has trample. Can't say I'm not worried, though. Gotta eat that. Gotta eat that. It's a land. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. Gambit. Okay. Tap land. Send everybody. Okay, five. So that kills both of those. That kills that. They take two. Man, if only I could have found one of my yoink spells this game, too, would have been really good for this particular matchup. <clears throat> All good, though. All good. Uh, we drop a land, we drop Skitter, and then we sack two tokens. I think we're in a really good spot to end this game now. It all depends on the if the top deck is crazy or not. All right, so he's looking to try to close, maybe, with damage of his own? I don't know. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> we got blocks. We got the trampler. I don't think he's going to be able to put up 15 here. So I think that'll do it. I think that will do it. Let's see.
It's the end of the turn. All right, cool. Looks like we got it. Looks like we got it. Good game, sir. Good game. All right, let's go. We got it. Let's go, dude. That was, that was tense, man. I, I can't tell you guys how nervous I am playing against these big streamers. It's so, it's so nerve wracking. All right, I don't know how I'm gonna get any better than that. Uh, but <laughs> as far as my feelings go, but oh, we'll try. Opponent gets to go first. I don't know if this is going to be uh, a keepable hand. We're going to try it anyways because I love the hand. It's a really good versi uh, diversified hand, but I am worried that they might be too aggressive. We'll see. Uh, another eaten alive is good. It is good. I'll keep it. Oh, man. We are committing, though, to a turn three as our first spell. Oh, yeah. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Trouble in paradise. But I do have the furnace reins. So all's possible through the furnace reins. <laughs> what does this do? Sacrifice this creature. Draw a card for one mana. Okay. Uh, let's go. Well, what if they don't bite on the furnace reins? I mean, the best chance we have is by taking this, right? All right, we need them to bite here. <clears throat> need them to bite. Dang it. Dang it, bro. Okay, good on him. Good on him for not falling for it. He didn't fall for my trap. All right. Another wedding announcement. All right, sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure. Um, I think I like Skitter here. All right, nothing to eggs off from the graveyard. We do get the rat though. And I will do the eaten alive and try to take out the inspector. Not the greatest of hands or situations here. Um, but, you know, we're making the best of what we got. <clears throat> they sacrifice their other creature. They draw a card. That's good. It's another body off the field, so... I'm chilling with that. Chilling with that. Go for the throat. Ouch. Wish that would go for my throat, because it is effed up. I don't know what's going on. Jadar. Right, I think we go with the Urbrask's Forge here. Create the 1-1. One, one. I think uh, I think Jaffer here is just going to be a little too wide of a board state for me to, you know, be able to handle. I don't run any sweepers. Had I run sweepers, maybe this might be good. But there is that, um, you know, brand new white and black card that sweeps up boards full of tokens. I haven't seen a, t a ton of tokens today, though, so... I didn't really uh, plan for that. I mean, there's definitely no Boros Convoke going on in standard uh, as far as uh, event goes. Maybe in real standard, but not in, not in current standard that we're playing right now with the event. So I left that card out. Had I had it, I mean, it would have been really good here. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, we're GG's here. Definitely going to be GG's here. Take you out. Play you. We'll, we'll give it one more, one more top deck here if we can find something maybe, but... I don't think there's really much for me to find. Oh, they also run the Ruthless Lawbringer. Nice. Noise. Down to four. Even if I get my Yoink spell, there's no Sacrifice spell to go. So that'll do it. <clears throat> Good game, friend. Good game. Darn it. 
on to the next one though i kept a bad hand it's on me i knew that was gonna happen okay that definitely was not our game but uh we've got uh got an interesting hand here i don't think we can keep it unfortunately as much as i want to i don't think it's possible <clears throat> this hand again not great not great but uh we'll make it work hopefully I, I wish we had a third land drop in that last hand. It would have been perfect, especially with the greed, but we shall see. All right, we drop the Lawbringer and all of these come in taps. Clutch. Clutch. Bartolome would have been nice on two there, but it is what it is. Uh, we got gruel colors. Okay. What's going on over here? What's going on with my hand? I just had one of these. I threw away. Come on. Come on, man. This card, the armadillo, search for a basic land card or desert card. Reveal it, put it into your hand. Okay. Sounds like the herd to me. What, what is that creature exactly though? Just in case it's a six mana seven, seven reach in ward three. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, waiting for them to take a land though. This could take a little while. It looks like this game's going to be a minute. Just got to pick a land, you know, just got to pick one, throw it on the field. There you go. Yes, we got a little bit of yoink and sack online potentially here in the future. Love that. Love that for the program. I do need to find like a greed. A greed would be very, very helpful right about now. I need to draw some cards, fix this atrocity in my hand. Okay, still nothing being played. Oh, wow. We did in fact find the greed. Let's go. Let's go. Gain some life. Surveil one. I like that. And it's another land. I don't think I'm going to need that. I'll attack here and see if the opponent wants to try to burn it. If they do, I've got some tokens I can sack to pump its power and toughness up a little bit. But hopefully it won't come to that. All right, not great. Oh, I think it's put them in their hand. Okay, so they get to put those creatures in their hand. I'm cool with that. Uh, this could be some sort of nonsense where they try to pop everything on the field and give it haste immediately. That's what I would do with this deck, at least. Hopefully they just play one of these. I steal it, sack it, and we call it a day. That'd be nice. Brotherhood's end. Two, three. If I sack these two, uh, I'm cooked either way. Either way, we're cooked here. Sheesh. Okay. Literally, we're cooked. <laughs> it's not even a metaphor. That's literally, we're cooked. All right, let's get this down. Easy peasy. No other real spells to be played here. You got a burn spell for me or what? No? We are in a little bit of trouble here for sure because uh, that greed is going to keep going off over and over again. And with them wiping our entire board, that kind of ruins a lot of things for us. <laughs> I must say. Does this have ward? Okay, it doesn't have ward. That's good. I need them to play it though. I need them to play something sizable here that I can just steal, but they haven't done it yet. Uh, 
just waiting, waiting on the world to change. Nothing? After all that, nothing? All right, cool. We'll play this. It's more pressure, more damage. We attack. We take two. We end our turn. <clears throat> we sack the two one. And we drop you. Just keep doing our thing. I mean, there's really not a whole lot to happen here until the opponent wants to engage in this game and actually start playing some spells. But until that happens, we're just going to keep peppering them and it is what it is. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, so I didn't realize that was an instant speed card. That's pretty nutty. Dang, that being instant speed is absurd. All right. That was quick. <laughs> that was quick. Two Terra, the peaks. That'll do it. This card is nuts, man. I actually want to try that next, to be honest. I think that's such a cool card. Good on him, though. All right, we got another sketchy looking hand here. Um, we go second to... Oh, man. Can I just get a good starting hand here? That's a little bit better. I can at least work with this. I'll send this one away. Yeah, that'll work. Well, actually, we got to go with this first, huh? Yeah. Because I want to get the... What do I want to get in first? Actually, I want to get in Jadar first. Changed my mind. And it looks like the opponent's not going to be running any creatures here, I don't think. Oh, they are. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Oh my gosh, dude. What is these? What are these draws, man? We deserve better than this, man. What are these flipping draws? Okay, well, our Ptolemy is on the field. We've got a free power stone that we can consume as well, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. Okay, whenever a sacrifice or another artifact, you may pay two. If you do, at the beginning of the NX end step, create a token as a copy. Okay. I have seen that card before. Let's go my turn. Let's go with this. A little bit of yoink. Give me that. All right, and then we send everybody. We put a stop here on damage. We sack this. Okay. We get the treasure. We sack this. And we end our turn. And then we got the greed next turn, which is really sweet. And then maybe we can just kind of close out the game. That'd be really, really nice. Uh, okay, so they sacrifice that. Draw a card. They get a copy of it or no? No. Whenever you sacrifice or no, 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 no. Oh, they have to pay two to get the copy. All right, cool, cool. I think we might be a little too fast for him here, guys. We might be a little too fast for them here. Eating alive is solid. What if I eat in alive and eat the treasure? Six, seven, eight, nine. Not quite enough. I guess we go with the gambit here. Will I regret this? Probably. All right, let's do this. Let's put a stop on the damage and see what happens. No, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, they're done. They're done. They're done. They ran into the wrong block there.
Jeez, man, that was a good one. That was a good ending to that game right there. That was pretty cool. I like that Bartolome has that option of just like surprising the opponent on the attacks. I figured they wouldn't block it, but that was crazy to block the one one, but GG. That does it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back again here tomorrow with another deck list for you, but I appreciate you for making it this far and I hope you enjoyed today's video, man. So much fun. This deck is, you know, it may not have played as good as some of the other decks, but man, did it feel like a really fun time, man. That greed card is special, dude. I think that card's going to be really awesome. And there's some really fun things you can do with it that I learned later uh, during the stream uh, when Ali Aldrazi hit me with some good stuff. So uh, we're going to be trying that card out again in the future for sure. I love that card. But works really good today with our sacrifice build. So, uh, again, hope you enjoyed this one. Huge thank you and shout out to the Mardu Mob. If you guys don't know, that's the membership program on the channel. So, everybody who's a part of that and helping support me monetarily, I appreciate you very much for that. Uh, thank you. And uh, thanks again, guys. We'll be back again tomorrow, like I said, for another one. Uh, tomorrow's deck list is going to be Naya Ramp, and it is a doozy. We were beating everybody. So, tune in for that. We'll see you then. Till next time. Peace out. Three times like a hat trick. Yeah. The name is Fizzy, no Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic, yeah, that's magic. Yeah, MTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. Where's the upload, man? Uh, man, all of the time. Coming with the best decks, this is the meta. This ain't cheap, yeah, it's